I'm assuming you know about the crazy things going on in Quartzsite, Arizona. Do not resist the officer. The mayor has Do not the resist the After this false arrest of Jennifer Jones, she and Michael Roth went to town hall one day. At town hall, Michael made the grave mistake of calling Councilman Joe Winslow a turd. Councilman Winslow then ran to a judge, saying he was so upset he might shoot Michael. So Judge Karen Slaughter revoked Michael's right to own guns. Yes, you heard that right. Winslow admits he's mentally unstable and bought a shotgun because he's upset at Michael. But Judge Slaughter revokes Michael's Second Amendment right. That's not the law in Arizona. Aside from the obvious First Amendment freedom of speech issue, being punished for calling a politician a name, it turns out Judge Slaughter had no right to take away Michael's guns. We cherish our constitutional rights in Arizona. Just last year, our legislature and our governor, Governor Brewer, allowed us to carry concealed without a permit. So there is no provision in Arizona injunction law allowing courts to take away our Second Amendment rights in a civil injunction. But apparently, Arizona judges don't care about the Constitution. Fortunately for Michael Roth, after all the negative publicity, Judge Slaughter saw the error of her ways and vacated her unlawful order just hours before Michael was to have his day in court. But then it happened to our YouTuber in Phoenix. He was deprived of his gun rights simply because some lady, who lives 120 miles away in the small town of Prescott, Arizona, didn't like what she read in his blog. Like crazy Councilman Winslow, this lady ran to a Prescott judge to get a one-sided civil injunction. And, as happened with Michael Roth, our YouTuber found his Second Amendment rights revoked. Without a trial. For blogging. But the Arizona legislature never gave the courts the authority to revoke our Second Amendment right in a civil injunction. Search our injunction law for the word firearm. It's not there. The Arizona Supreme Court has mixed up civil injunction law with criminal domestic violence law. Worse, absent any law, our YouTuber is now listed as a criminal on the FBI's National Crime Information Center database. He's been reduced to a felon by an ex-party civil matter. For blogging. It's got to stop. Having fought for his Second Amendment rights in court once and won, having petitioned the Arizona Supreme Court about it twice, now, in honor of Michael Roth, our YouTuber has filed a federal civil rights lawsuit he calls Michael's Law. He is suing the justices of the Arizona Supreme Court to force them to obey the law and uphold our constitutional rights. If the courts in Arizona have unlawfully taken your gun rights away, or if you're a strong supporter of the Second Amendment, maybe you'll want to get involved in Michael's Law or encourage Governor Brewer to get involved. If you're an attorney, this should be a high-profile case since it's a case of first impression and probably headed for the Ninth Circuit.